Let's talk about shopping again. I know this is a difficult one for a lot of people. We get told over and over again that we need to buy more and more stuff all the time to be happy. And I get it. There are so many beautiful and precious things out there. I definitely have a lot of favorites myself that truly make me happy to own. Buying those precious things that makes your life easier, more beautiful or more practical isn't a bad thing in my opinion. I am not really a fan of the concept of shopping though, just aimlessly going from store to store and purchasing whatever catches our eye. I like to be a little bit more decisive than that. So here's the list of situations where I normally don't buy things because I already know that in these situations, buying isn't going to make my life better in any way. If I'm already unsure in the store whether I truly like the item or not, I don't buy it. It needs to be love, sweet love at the first moment for me to reach for my wallet. If I'm uncertain and leave without buying it, I can always come back later if I change my mind. But to be honest, that almost never happens. I don't shop to cure a bad mood, ever. I have tried that in the past and that always results in the worst and most useless purchases ever in my experience. Don't sob and shop is my motto. If the thing in question doesn't fit my body, my home or my lifestyle or whatever, there's really no use in buying it, no matter how lovely it is in the shop. Especially when buying clothes, I want something that fits my body and matches the rest of my wardrobe perfectly. Because let's face it, it's not that likely that I will change the way my body looks or the rest of my entire wardrobe just because I happen to have fallen in love with a piece of clothing. Now, I love a bargain just as much as the next person. That being said, there comes a time with all the super sales and crazy discount codes when we get tempted to buy something just because it's cheap. I don't do that. You might have heard me say this before, but when in doubt, ask yourself, would you buy it if it was three times as expensive? I am a lover of a great design. I go crazy for thought through aesthetics, quality and functionality. So I'd rather buy fewer things and be able to spend a little bit more on what I actually do buy. However, there comes a time when the price tag has reached the limit for what's reasonable. I don't mind paying for great design. Logos, however, not so much. Those were five different kinds of stuff that I normally don't buy. Now I want to hear yours. And don't forget to give me a thumb up if you like this video and subscribe to catch my next one. And remember guys, stuff is here to make our lives better, not to overwhelm us or bankrupt us. Okay, signing off now. Sayonara!